So here's my old friend, the uh, IBM or Lenovo uh, ThinkPad Z60M. And here's my new, much better friend, a uh, brand newer MacBook uh, laptop. So I'll just show you a little bit why I like my new friend better than my old friend. I mean, first of all, we just see that the look of the MacBook is much sleeker. Uh, it's a 13-inch screen, less than the 15-inch screen on the PC, but there's just something crude. Look at that touchpad, very small, got a couple buttons. The MacBook, on the other hand, uses this rectangle, solid piece of glass, apparently, that uh, whole thing is a clicker. You can push two buttons to right click, one to left click, and it does all kinds of other things. But uh, here's one of the things that I like best about the two. Let's just start them up and we'll give the PC a running head start and start up the Mac and see how they do. Now this is what I would do every morning because PCs like to be shut down at night, whereas Macs don't necessarily. I usually just leave it on and shut the cover and let it go to sleep. So here's the Mac starting up. PC is still starting up. Do to do. do. Oh, something's happening on the MacBook. Why? I can tell you it's almost done. PC is still working around. Haven't even heard its startup song yet. MacBook starting. And there it is. It's ready to go. Let's see how the PC is doing. Why, it's just uh, welcome to me. Well, that's nice. Still whirring away. Nothing much happening. I think every PC owner knows this. Now, to be fair to the PC, it has a bunch of stuff on it, as we'll see once the screen loads up. And the reason it needs lots of stuff on it is because the Mac already comes preloaded with a whole bunch of programs that you see along the bottom of the screen there. And it's really all that you need to use a Mac. I invested in a uh, Word program, their pages. Uh, they also have a spreadsheet and a presentation program. Just clicked on pages. There it is uh, coming up and it works fine uh, for me. It opens and uh, word files and does pretty much all that a word processor needs. Oh! Oh, the PC is almost getting ready. At least it's made a sound. It's still starting up. Um, we'll fire up the web browser just to show how quickly it starts up. That's CNN.com, which I was obsessed over the election, of course. Now that that's over, I can relax a little bit. But uh, one of the nice things is that you can scroll using the, uh, just with your fingers. You also can, if I can make this work, enlarge text, although for some reason doesn't seem to be working for me at the moment. Let's go to uh, New York Times, which has a little different look. Safari, by the way, is a fast or web browser than, uh, than uh, I found Firefox to be. So anyway, we can see that I can just use the, uh, if I'm making this work, it's a little hard to uh, Actually, I'm not doing very well, but if you can see the screen size is changing larger as I'm manipulating the uh, squeezing, squeezing. You also can move around things with the, uh, the mouse pad or keypad. So it's really pretty, pretty slick. Um, and you can see now that the PC has pretty much started up, but the whole thing is just a much cruder experience than the Mac is. 
See, now the uh, text size of the Mac has reduced, and you can make it even smaller, although it doesn't seem to be obeying me as well as it should at the moment. So there's a first crack. That's one reason why I like the Mac a lot better. At night, you just shut it down. After a second, this little light goes off. There's a little indicator on the front that starts blinking. shows you that it's gone to sleep. Another nice feature of the MacBook is that it has a little panel over here that shows you how many LEDs light up show you how the battery is doing so that you don't have to have the computer on. And you can see that it's gone to sleep. It's blinking show you that it's sleeping. In the morning I just get up, fold up the thing and there we are back with uh, wherever we are. Uh, Google News, Google Reader, my own blog, Church of the Churchless. Again, we're making it smaller now. And uh, it's just a kick to be able to change the uh, text size for someone like me who wears contacts and sometimes needs a little bigger size. And I'm doing this just by manipulating. Ooh, real big. Belief is in the brain, so beware. If you want to believe that the Mac is a much more pleasant machine to use, that's absolutely the truth.